All right, hello, it's Monday the 20th. So it is, of course, Martin Luther King Day. Thank you very much, Dr. Martin Luther King, for everything that you've done for civil rights. And I, I mean that seriously. I'm not being sarcastic. Uh, I, like many other government workers, have the day off. That dates back to what? To 1985, right? <laughs> This year's Martin Luther King Day happens to fall on Tom Baker's birthday. And in honor of Tom Baker, I want to say, would you like a jelly baby? No, seriously, look. Jelly babies from England. All right, so here's the, you know, sometimes I wonder about this. All right, so they say, okay, so these whales, they beach themselves. Right, and they go, well, oh my gosh, you know, what causes this? Why do the whales sometimes 10, 20 at a time beach themselves? And, uh, you know, quite often they die. And people are wondering, you know, what causes this? Why do they do this? But then you got to look at reports about what the ocean is like out there. How much garbage, how much plastic, how much pollution is out in the ocean, right? And you think... Maybe these whales do this because they want to die. You ever wonder about that? Seriously. I mean, maybe they just say, I can't take this shit anymore. Here's the other thing I wonder about. If we can have websites and dating services dedicated to, for example, Christian swingers, right? Why can't we have one, and I mean a serious one, a real one, are for nerds? Just a nerd love finder type of thing, you know? You could, you know, have the battery of usual questions, but then you can have questions like, uh, Lord of the Rings, book or movie, uh, The Walking Dead, comic book or TV series, Joel or Mike, controller or keyboard and mouse, how many hours a day do you spend watching anime? How many hours a day do you spend playing video games? This would have to be an absolute rule, absolute rule. You would have to post a real picture of yourself. You would not be allowed to draw a version of what you in your head think you look like. It has to be a real picture. So here's something that, uh, you know, that I've been thinking about. And the NSA, they've got all of this data, all these records on our phones and emails and that type of thing. So what if... They offered a, a service, maybe in conjunction with, say, private investigator, where you can, say, investigate your spouse to see if your spouse is cheating. And this pretty much tells you where my fanboy priorities are. I Maybe you've heard or seen some of the promos with the slogan, Jack's back, right? Well, I hear that, and very first thing pops into my head is, uh, hmm, Torchwood Season 5? Hmm... So anyway, I've been thinking about the differences between optimism and pessimism and people's perceptions of what those are. You see, a lot of people incorrectly feel that a pessimist is also perpetually depressed. That's not always the case. In fact, you will quite often find it's the optimists who wind up being depressed, and here's why. Optimists think pessimists are people who always see the bad or downside of things. And that's not true. Pessimists, or people who are labeled as pessimists, are people who see the world for what it is, which is a giant ball of dog crap. Some pessimists let this get to them, and they get depressed about it. Other pessimists just say, yeah, okay, you know what, the world's a pile of dog crap, and I'm just gonna deal with it. It's not that pessimists always see the downside of things. What we do, usually, we usually expect the least out of any situation. Not the worst out of any situation. We don't always expect everything to go bad. Optimists, on the other hand, typically expect things to go well. Or, more operative word here is, optimists hope things will go well. So then, what happens is, most of the time, when things actually don't go well, the pessimist will be like, nah, yeah, that's what I figured, and moves on. The optimist, however, will be bummed out, saying, I hoped things would go better than this. And then some of them will get depressed about it. However, 
when you have a situation that turns out well, the optimist is like, oh yeah, I hoped that was going to happen. But the pessimist is like, wow, wow, something went well, and we're all fucking excited about it. And so that, really right there, that's the difference between optimism and pessimism, in a nutshell. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again.